Hey everybody, welcome back to day two of the Golden Goblet. Today we're uh, we're doing TPC River Highlands. Um, filling your bag, hold to view. I don't know about that. It gives you a quick look at the carry distances for each club and your golf bag. Oh, so we can... I see, we can adjust our own golf bag um, with clubs in order to maybe get a coverage of dis different distances. Let's be honest, that stuff is not uh, necessarily uh, part of my purview right now. Maybe just try getting uh, straight shots will be something we'd be looking for here. Um, what's our round challenge? Complete a round without invoking the stroke limit. I'm telling you, we're probably going to get that one. Um, now, you know what would be nice for me is complete a round without being bad. Let's see if we can do that. Beautiful stroke. Okay, I'm pogged. I'm pogged. Yesterday we hit a plus five, but I thought it was not disrespectable. We were really a plus one if you took out hole one, which you would never do, but, you know, our, our adjustment hole was bad. Everything else was fine. I'm going to be honest. I think this is, by default, I think this is a great shot with the pitching wedge. The wind is fairly heavy. It seemed a little... What do you mean very slow? I was literally about to say that it seemed a little fast to me. <laughs> so I think we want to hit it right around here. 97 seems good. Maybe maybe even... Yeah, yeah, okay. And it never bites as much as you think. That was fast, but dude, pretty decent. Now, I would love to not have to use putt resin here. Getting a little bit right off the cut. We're getting a, like two things that cancel each other out. But I think we want to be slightly more this way. Slightly more this way. Hit it way too hard. And that, the power of that one is what's going to end up killing us. If we were a little softer. This one's a four foot putt. We would have been fine. That's fine. We'll, we'll take the bogey on that one. I, think I would say it's a pretty deserved bogey. Hole two challenge. Hit the green in regulation. Okay. Just a clean shot. I'll take fast. Looks like a fair way off fast is, is not great. Like, perfect is what we want. But fast is at least, you know, we get a slight right hook on it. No sweat. All right. So we got to reach the green in regulation if we want to get our... Um, if we want to complete our challenge here. Pitch fights the wind a little bit more. I think this is this is pretty good right, right about here. Perfect. Okay. Nobody to blame but myself if it's not close to the green then. That's pretty close to the green. Challenge completed. 10 experience points. Now again, a short putt. I don't want to use putt resin. I'd like to... Maybe I should use it for the short ones. No, because the long ones have a much more difficult kind of... Uh, much more catastrophic mistake. Good so far. Ladies and gentlemen, nice. there you go. We're back to even. We're back to even today. Hole number four. I like the challenges on each level too. Really helps me feel like at least even if I'm getting my butt kicked, at least there's something for me, right? We, we did have a little bit of a deviation from the line there, but... Uh, that's one of our better drives for sure. And I'm starting to... When I, the whole one, I'm not going to lie to you. I got a little twisted up. I was like, maybe maybe this is how I how I die. But uh, now it's, it's, it's coming together. So I, I kind of like... Kind of like this. An 87% power iron shot. Yeah, I, I like this. Right about here. Hmm... What about here? You love to see it. That's that's what we wanted. It did get taken by the wind a lot more than I thought it would. But in, in principle, I think our uh, our shot was very good. Now we're going for birdie here. This is one where I would think putt resin is actually pretty valuable. So my prediction here would be like, this is pretty good. Let's see how this looks. We would have been off by uh, a little bit. So I want to move a couple ball widths over here. Hit it a little heavy. Never mind. We got ladies and gentlemen. 
We're a golfer. We're a golfer. Okay. We got wind blowing to the left here. Thank you, John. I appreciate being my caddy here. We're on hole four already. Heavy wind, but we do usually get a little bit of a rightward bend. I felt that. I Honestly, for once in my life, I, I felt the wind, or I, I, I felt the swing be bad there. So we'll, we'll hit off of uh, Terracotta. Oops. That's, that's, no Oops. that's fine. So par four. We can still get on. Might, might want to use some putt resin, but we can still get on. I think I should learn for myself that um, I almost never hit very fast. So my natural... We want to club up here for sure. My natural um, swing, should we should always try to make it a little faster. This is a sand wedge. The wind is going to pull it down. I don't want to heavily overshoot it. I think that's pretty good though. Yeah, like even if you're a little fast, it depends on the wind, but oh, this one might be a bit much. Even if you're a little fast, that's okay. Dude, I'm completely fine with this. All right, let, let's look at this putt. It's horrible. <laughs> this is putt resin for me. Yeah, we try something like that. And it would have been slightly off. So we're going to go quite a bit further. And then little heavy that hurt okay we needed a little bit more okay let's finish up so we'll chalk that up as a little waste of putt resin but but not a bad hole dude not a bad hole all right land within 10.5 feet of the pin from your tee shot um i mean there's 11 mile an hour winds which is bad for sure if we club up, I'm like, because it's going to roll like a son of a gun. We're basically setting up the exact same shot. <laughs> Every, I mean, I don't know, even like the extra four yards, I think it makes a big difference. I, I think we want to go driver, underpower it. it, it this, this one's going to have to be mighty good. The, I, I think the wind will counteract our speed being slightly high and well the swing speed I mean to say it's not going to be within 10.5 feet I think but it is a beautiful shot never mind we totally got it all right that, that was our best shot of the golden goblet so far without a doubt I think we just want to go a little bit this way Beautiful putt. Dude, I'm feeling like a much better golfer. <laughs> now, we are only minus one on the sixth hole, but still. All right, the heck of a breeze. We know there's a chance for us to be too fast, but that's okay. Let's let's lean into that. Just don't be slow. We were fast, and it's going to be fast with the wind, but we compensated accordingly, hopefully. Don't, don't give me the O on that one. I'll live with that. It's not so bad. It is a par 5. Similar situation right here. Yeah, this is a tough call. No, no, just don't roll into the sand. As long as... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Slowness. Slowness helped us out there. I appreciate it. Now we got heavy wind. Pitching wind wedge doesn't get as affected by the wind, but it's still it's a pretty long hit. I would think something like this is maybe gonna tickle our fancy. It felt slow, okay. But the wind is heavy to the right. We should have put a little bit more sauce on this one. But I, honestly, we're on the green in three with an attempt for birdie. Hole six with one more putt resin. I think this is putt resonable. It's for birdie. It's a little early, but I don't mind. Okay, so I'd say a couple of things. We want to be heavy left. I think that's that's probably enough right there. And then we actually want a little bit more power, I think. Ah, maybe not. Just a little bit more. 
And I under hit it. Oh! Scoop. That's all right. All right. All right. We're out of putt resin, I believe. Hole seven challenge. Score par or better without hitting any hazards. I love wind to the left because it means we can hit fast without any uh, any fear. Beautiful swing. I'm completely okay with this. I'm co we've we've learned to golf around our own shortcomings. Isn't that part of what you have to do if you want to be a good golfer? You got you got to learn your natural uh, problems, and if you can't sort them out, then you can at least know that they're coming. We're gonna club up on this one, um, and th this is a really tough shot. We're gonna club up, and I think we're gonna let the wind take us quite a lot. We're also gonna put some backspin on this because we really want it to die. As so, but we even have to club up one more time. <laughs> hold on, hold on. This is this is a very very spicy shot. All right, let's give this a try. Clean, clean shot. It's got a lot of loft. This one might be uh, past the green. It, what do you mean past the green, John? That's that's the shot of the century, buddy. It ended up just fine on there. A little work to do, but nothing too bad. It's the shot of the century. Feet to the hole All right. Here. Eight feet to the hole. Green's running down a little bit, so the 27% power seems fair to me. There is putt resin remaining. Okay. I had no idea we still had some putt resin. This should be good. Oh, it's getting there. It was not good. A bit too much. Power. Bit too much power. Thank you, John. I appreciate the diagnosis. Put it in for par nonetheless. Thank you. Score par better. We got a little... <laughs> got some achievements there. It's a whole... Uh, par three, I should say. This is it. It's another tricky one. But honestly, with the wind taking this... It's tough because we don't want to hit that like southern part of the green and roll back. Um, which is probably what's going to happen. But I'm like, this is, this is mighty dangerous. But I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe this is what we're looking for. And we do the same thing. So we'll, we'll put a little, little of that on it, and a little backspin, ideally on it. It makes the swing much harder to hit, but we can hit it fast, and the wind will still take it. And we want to give it a little forward, and I think we're good to go as long as it makes it over the tree. Slow is bad here. It's going to compound the effects of the wind. I mean, let's be realistic. This is. Oh, I don't. I don't want to use. I don't want to use it. I don't want to use it. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we have putt resin on every hole now. I don't know. We should probably stick to a rule of using it three times. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So if you miss, like, it's it's giving you a good lesson here. If you miss, you're going to go forever. So we want to be like, this is not really resin to know where it's going uh, when we shoot it straight because there was no world in which we would shoot this straight. Um, I think we'd actually like to lower the distance just so it's not a catastrophic failure if we go too far. And if we don't get it in, we don't get it in. That's fine. But you know I believed there for a second. You know I believed. So let's let's not engage in the use of resin here, because I I don't know. I haven't told the guys how many times to use the putt resin. Let's just we'll tell them three, even though I used it four this time. It was it was a learning experience. And we're we're shooting uphill, so usually the curve matters less. So I think actually like this might be fine. It's getting there. Still mattered more than I thought. That's fine. I'm not. I'm not sore about that at all. I'm honestly pretty pleased. Is the ninth hole with 14 mile an hour wind? Just send it, dude. Nice swing. Beautiful. We don't. We don't mind a fast swing. Obviously, we'd we'd like to keep it a little slower, but we don't mind a fast one. 
five yards out. 15 mile an hour wind. I think it's just club up, pull down. And I mean, you know what I'm going for, right? We're, we're going we're gonna to put a little bit extra loft on this. Which means we actually should send it a little further. And a little uh, backswing or backspin as well. And I think we want to send it like, maybe like that. Oh, th what a, this is a weird one. Because we don't want to actually give it any draw. Why are we giving it draw? Okay, there you go. This isn't Monster Train. Yeet. That felt slow to me. Yep. At least we can diagnose it a little bit off the off the jump now. That's that's unfortunate. Um, this is for birdie. This seems like a terrible chip to me. I think we want to we want to club up chip. I'm happy we clubbed up, although we did hit at lower power. And for par. All right, dude, an even round, a scratch golfer. Oh, did I? I didn't make it the uh, the front nine only. Okay, that's fine. We were even through nine holes, and we'll just uh, quit out of this one for now. Uh, I hope we didn't lose our experience, but who cares? It's a, a much better round. We golfed even, had some birdies, had some bogeys, and really kept it together. We learned something. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Hopefully, we're at least competing for silver. Thanks for your support and go to goldengobble.net to see how everyone's doing and I'll see you next time. See ya!